So if you are a fan of Little Mix and Jade Thirlwall, this is another video that you are gonna want to see. So back in 2007, when Jade was 15 year old, um, she starred in a short film that I made as a producer, director, and I also wrote the script. And we made that film together. It was a short film, uh, it's about 13 and a half minutes long. Um, and it was made while I was a film student. And um, over the years, obviously I've got more experience as a filmmaker. Um, so looking back on that short film, um, I wasn't, I'm not quite happy with the way it was edited together. And at the time, it wasn't given a colour grade, uh, it wasn't sound mixed at all, so the sound was a little bit dodgy. Um, and some of the cuts were just not, didn't just didn't sit right with us, so um, I've been wanting to re-edit it for quite some time. Now, the problem I had is that I didn't have the original footage digitized. So I've got, because it was shot on these little mini DV tapes, um, and uh, I had no way of capturing that footage. So um, I sent the tapes off to a professional company, got them digitized, and then um, what, I've, what I've done I'm going to show you on the edit suite here in a, in a moment. So what I've done is I've re-edited the film completely from scratch using the original footage. So I've used the original film, which the only way it exists at the moment is actually um, ripped from a DVD. It only exists on a DVD, which I've ripped that from to make a, a digital file. Well, someone did it for us actually. Um, so I've laid that on the timeline and I've used that as the basis for to uh, reconstruct the film. So I've reconstructed the film, put it back together exactly as it was. So from there, I've then been able to kind of go back and look at the original footage and um, make all those little changes that I wanted to make. So I'm gonna show you some of the changes. I'm gonna take it to the edit suite and I'm going to show you some of the changes that I've done, some of the little problems that I had, um, and just give you a little insight into that, because what I intend to do is to re-release this short film at some point. The film was originally on YouTube, and it did get quite a bit of attention uh, a few years ago when Jade was actually auditioning for a role uh, of was in a, the live version of Aladdin, uh, which was being shot and she auditioned for that, which didn't ultimately get the role. Uh, and so there was a few little media outlets were picking up on the fact that she'd kind of acted before. Um, so I, I, I decided, I've decided that I wanted to redo that film. So I, I've taken it off of YouTube. Now you can't see it. It's not available anywhere at the moment. So um, I am going to make it available again at some point, once it's once I'm satisfied with the edit, and I've got it color graded, and it's going to have a sound mix because I've now got access to the original kind of uh, the original sound as well, so I can get that remixed, and so it's uh, and get rid of all the glitches and noises and extraneous noises that are not required, um, and we'll clean it up and um, it'll look a lot better than what it actually did originally. So I'm going to take you to the edit suite and show you some of the things that I've been doing. So there are seven tapes that uh, the film was shot on. This is one of the images from uh, two of the tapes where that there was a slight problem with. So this is the the, the final edited um, image. But if you look at the original footage, which is on this side, at the top there, you can see those white kind of lines those little dashes along the top and that appears right the way through two of the tapes so i've had to make the image a little bit bigger just to get rid of those lines at the top of there which isn't a major problem so one of the problems that i did have when i got the tapes back is that the company who 
did the digital transfer for some reason um, have blown up slightly the images so I've actually lost some of the images around the edges so this is what I've got on the timeline now currently this is the shot of um, one of the sisters in the film which is who was played by Altea so this is the original shot um, it's not quite the same shot in the same place but you can see that on the bottom of the screen there you can see the, the the mobile phone at the bottom there where on this one you can't quite see you can just see the tip of the mobile phone there so i've lost some of the image from the bottom there like and it's like kind of all the way around the image where they've kind of blown it up slightly don't know why they've done that but it kind of loses some of the image which I might want it to have kept. Again, so I've had to work around that. Not a major issue, but a little bit annoying, I think. So like I say, I wasn't happy with um, the edit, the, the kind of some of the, the cuts between uh, various shots. So I um, have changed shots around slightly uh, and this is one scene that in particular which I've done. So I'm going to run the, this is the original version. I've got no sound on it so you can't hear the dialogue. So you can just, so if you just watch it through and so I had two shots of Hazel basically uh, sitting down. Um, it's kind of a not a jump shot but they're kind of all from the same angle i just thought it looked a little bit odd so this is the re-edited version now so if you watch the changes so i've kind of gone to that wider shot and then cut back i think it, it just looks a lot smoother than what it did uh, originally so this is another scene um, which I've re-edited. This is, this is the original version. So if you watch through this, um, there was two cuts kind of simultaneously of Jade reaction after this. The girl in the uh, green walks away. So we've got that shot and then that shot of there, which didn't sit quite right. It, was, it didn't look right to me. So this is the re-edited version. So if you watch Jade's reaction when the girl in the green walks off, we haven't got the two shots we've got that shot and then a, a wider shot of jade which i think looks a lot smoother the coloring on these shots are a bit dodgy at the moment because it obviously hasn't been color graded so one of the other things that i've had to do as well is also also to put in the subtitles as well so i've had to do that right away through the firm And I'm uh, busy creating various documents that I will need if I was to release this professionally as well. So it's uh, there's a quite a bit of work involved, but I just want to make it as uh, <clears throat> as best that I can actually before I kind of re-release it. So hopefully uh, this year, 2024, I'm going to try and get this re-released at some point um, and try and get it onto. Uh, a professional kind of um, video platform and you know not just on YouTube but somewhere where it's gonna um, see a wider audience uh, so yeah so that's the plan with this particular film try and get that out there as well uh, and I have another little project which I'm not going to mention at the moment which involves this film as well uh, so keep an eye on that for the future